guys, it's Lady Rena Saro, and we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. So, um, while uh between last video and this video, I ran around a little bit off camera because I was trying to complete um Elizabeth's request to um make a uh or not make a um I'll just show you. Me, I can't form the words. It is quite late. Oh, okay. So I completed a request. Um, I got the request to retrieve one lead metal from a gold shadow in Feeble. And it, what, compared to what's going to be coming up, it, it's not that bad. Um, I do suggest that um, you do over-level the the uh, when you do this request over level for the feeble block so that way all the black shadows like fly um like fly away yes they fly they they flutter their hands and fly away but basically um basically they keep running away from, uh you just keep they keep running away from you gold shadows will not run away well will not run away from you scared they'll vanish in front of you just when you're like five like not even a foot away but other than that, so I got the lead metal, so this is the stuff for it. So I see you brought a lead metal as I requested. That shadow is very rare, rare, rare. So I'm sure the item was difficult to obtain. Is kind of. This time I have a special reward for you. It may look like a toy, but I'm sure you'll find it useful. Please accept your reward. Tame toy bow. And of course, it's like kind of like a blah weapon. <laughs> anyway, so hold on, let me register my personas. Alrighty. Um, so I believe by this time, um, completing the lead medal should unlock. Yes. It. It. You know. Uh. <laughs> okay. So now it has unlocked the next one, which is retrieve one steel medal. So, that is going to be, uh, just as fun. So, yeah. Not looking forward to that. Basically, with each block, there's t there's different types of gold shadows. With those gold shadows, there's going to be different types of requests. And it's like, yarg, Elizabeth. But you know what? As much as I said that, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to show this. You know what? I made this as a guide to show you guys, to help you guys, to, ho to inform you guys on how to do everything in this game. And that means I'm going to do everything. Even, <laughs> I'm going to go insane. I'm going to be pulling my hair out. Because <laughs> to, to tell you the truth, I know how to complete these, I just never have. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to complete this 2x max. I'm going to do all the quizzes. Well, that's no big deal. I'm going to do I'm going to do all of Elizabeth's requests. Um like I said, the only request I'm shaky on is uh ultimate opponent. Cuz uh yeah. I like I will try my best to do the ultimate opponent. I will promise you that. Uh, so, enough jibber jabbers. Let's return to the dorm. Let's go to sleep. So, and I hope this um this guy so far. I know that we're like two thirds of the way through the game. I was roughly two thirds of the way through the game. So, yarg. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I'm able to be as informative as possible for you guys. So. Uh, maybe you should see your dorm mates. So, what did we do? Yesterday, we did Yukari. So, today, today, let's go ask the Akihiko. Akihiko! Ba -da -da. Oh, hey, Ken. What up? I always thought there's something I had to do, but I could never achieve it because there was so much else in the way. But I've made up my mind. The next chance I get, I'll do it. My mind is clear. Ken has a serious expression. He's not in the mood for the movies because he has blood rage problems. 
Akihiko! What a bee, dude! Hey, Sakatsu. You look bored, not that I can claim any different. I actually want to switch up my workout plan, but the heat's killing me. Oh, I can tell you that much. Akihiko seems bored. Would you like to invite him? Yeah! You look bored. Did you finish your homework? Well, you're one up on Junpei. I'm always one up on Junpei. All right, film festival, huh? I didn't know about it till Junpei told me. Come on, let's go. See, I can't do Troy Baker like accent or accent voice at all. So, yeah. Uh, Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because there's a movie theater of giant robots versus giant monsters. Ah. Okay, today they're showing Chop Saki's movies? What the fuck is Chop Saki? There sure are a lot of guys here. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Here, I'll, I'll try my impression of Tor of Akihiko's voice. Probably. You cheered for the main character who pulled himself up every time he was knocked down. Cut it, Jesse Christ. Did you see that move? His hands were on fire. He must have jumped eight feet. It looked like he was suspended from the ceiling. I guess that's why they call it wire food, huh? They must have been on some kind of amazing training program. They never, sh they never show those parts. Arg! Tch, I gotta train even harder. I'm gonna do squats all the, all the way back to the monorail. Decided to go back to the dorm. You do that. I'm just gonna walk, walk, walk. Walk a locker. What a be? How was your day? It was pretty cool. Movies with Yakihiko. It's really hot out these days. No shit. Please be careful that you don't get heat exhaustion. Uh, it was, oh my god, it was so scary. My cat got heat exhaustion. It was scary. He was like lying on the ground, looking like he was dead, panting with his tongue. It, it scared the shit out of me. All right, our smell something is not in the mood. What about him, Pity Else? Think about all the homework we had to do over summer vacation. Bumps me out. We're doing it little by little, but for right now, I'm gonna take a break from it. All right, sounds good. Dude, Ken doesn't seem to be feeling good. I think he's got heat exhaustion. Poor kid. You should go outside and play, you know? Have some fun, build up some stamina. Like you don't do. I hate to say this, but the loss are increasing again. You should really consider strengthening the team. Now that Kormaro has joined us, there are more members to choose from. I think you said that last time. What is your policy regarding how team members receive battle experience? It is your decision whether the same team members fight in every battle, or if different team members fight in each battle. Either way, please think strategically when you are selecting your team. Not really, I just stick to the same three, really. Cancun doesn't seem very happy. Maybe he's suffering from summer heat like Jumbin Kun says. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, he's just got blood rage. What it be, Akihiko? Summer, vaca summer vacation's gonna be over pretty soon. Once school starts, you won't have much time for anything else. So if there's something you want to do, you should do it while you're still on break. Like, go to the movies? Ba-da-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
two more personas? So I should grab a lovers. I'm gonna go grab. Let's go grab personas. It's good to grab personas like before. So that way you don't have to. So that way you don't like screw up and forget that you even have a persona. And then you screw everything up. <sighs> Welcome to the velvet room. Alright. Give me a lover. I am multiple lovers. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pixie! Perfect. Um. Meh. I think that's it. I think that's the only one I really needed was, like, lovers. So. Yeah, and by this time... Uh, during the game, you'll be able to hold 12 personas. Well, way before this point. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I am strengthening my persona. Let's punch some birds! Or moles. Whack a moles. Whack a moles are cool. Would it be Kenji? No, I'm sorry. I gotta keep my Sundays open, dude. Besides, I already went to the theaters with you. Would it be Yuko? I'm sorry, I'm busy too. It's all cool, man. Actually, no, it's not cool. I got dinged! Okay. I hate it when it's like my like iPod just like makes random noises and I don't realize it and then it goes bing and I'm like what the f I has friends? All right, summer vacation will be over soon. Your classmates, take them to the theaters. Go see giant robots fighting giant monsters of awesomeness. Trust me, Pacific Rim. I just recent well, by the time this video comes out, it won't be very recent anymore. So, but as I am recording this video, I just recently saw Pacific Rim, and it's my favorite all-time movie of all time. As of now, what could be better than giant fucking robots fighting, fighting giant fucking alien monsters? It is like awesomeness. What a be Koromaru? Koromaru-san has an intense desire to go somewhere. Furthermore, it appears that he does not go that if he does not go today, he will be not he will not be able to go at all. Please listen to Koromaru san's request, Zero san. Arf! Will you accept Koromaru's invitation? Sure! Let's go, buddy! Koromaru san is very happy. I, in turn, am happy for Koromaru san. Yep, that's right. We're taking a dog to the movie theater. Port Island Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because the movie marathon is a new theme. Today they're showing the last episode of the popular series, True Battles of Real Men. Arf! Oh. Arf, arf! <laughs> Koromaru can't wait any longer. You enter the movie theater with Koromaru. Yeah. You insisted that Koromaru was just a realistic job, but the management kicked you out of the theater. Aww. My courage agrees, though. Koromaru seems disappointed. Koromaru seems sad. Oh. You promised Koromaru to buy the DVD for him when it's released. Arf! Woof woof! Arf 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 arf! Koromaru seems very happy. Bribing dogs with DVDs. All in a day's work. Where have you been? Hanging with Koromaru! It's hard to train when it's hot, but it's easier to stay loose. So if you're going to Tartarus, count me in. I gave up trying to voice him. Korobar, you want to go places? Nope, you don't. Figures. What'd it be? 
Summer vacation will end soon, and summer and school will be in session. This poses a problem. I will not be able to stay by your side when you are at school. That worries me. I just want to talk. Cancun doesn't seem very happy. There's gonna, there's gonna be a full moon soon after vacation ends. Prepare yourself for it. I am a zero. God damn. Ken's only going to be staying for the summer, huh? Well, then I guess he'll be heading home soon. Even though he wasn't here for very long, it's still going to be sad to see him go. What makes you think that he's going to be leaving us, Yukari? You silly. Dude, Ken doesn't seem to be feeling good. Summer vacation is going to be over with pretty soon. Once school starts, you won't have much time for anything else. If there's anything, go. There's nothing interesting. Nothing interesting on the news except for more about the lost. Yay! Okay. La 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 la. Yeah, I do have to say though that um, towards the end of the game, where you start um, like maxing out your charm and stuff, it's like evening time is kind of like blah. Like, I'm pretty sure you could, if you really wanted to, like, grind a little, like, grind a little bit every day to, like, make things interesting, but it's, like, at the same time, you're, like, nay, do do I think what would be really cool for Personas is, you know how they, how a young Persona learns, like, hey, baby, baby, baby? What it be? Sorry, I'm busy. Seth is too bad. I can't wait to start like voicing him again. I like looked back on the cut, like when I was editing videos. I like looked back on when I voiced him, and I'm like, this is so much fun. <laughs> Trying to voice uh, accents is so much fun to do, even if you fail miserably. It's so much fun to do. But anyways, I think what would be really cool um, that they added a feature for Persona. Is if they had, like, instead of, like, making a whole new persona... Instead of making, like, a whole new persona with upgraded abilities and stuff in another level, like... Like, the little one I have is 30-something 30, 30 or other. 36. Um, little one is 36. I think it would be pretty awesome if, like, her... Ga her Aggie, Gauru, Bufu, and Zeo were able to upgrade to, like... Their next level when she reaches like a Pokemon. How about that? Just like a Pokemon, it like upgrades and then you get like a better version of like a better version of like a previous attack. I would like that. I would like to see that in Persona. I always thought there was something I had to do. Can never achieve it. You, you get a life. You're you're like eight. Get a life. Here, I'll give Nanako. I'll give you the phone number for Nanako. You two can chat it back. Chat it out. <sighs> what up? Look at that hat-wearing idiot. He's not. He's eating hot food in boiling weather. Just watching him makes me sweat. Zero Coon, can you get him out of here? Sorry, Yukatana. I didn't mean to freak you out. Here, I'll give you half, but you gotta use my chopsticks because I didn't bring any spares. Why would I want any? Anyway, this whole summer has been scorching. I can't concentrate on my homework with this heat. Gary seems busy. He's not able to go. Well, guess who can? Yo, hot, hot, hot! I gotta hurry or I'll miss the trailers! But I gotta eat first or I'll faint on the way over! Oh, hey, Zero, I'm thinking of catching some flicks. Wanna come along? The lineup today is choice, is choice man! Yes! Sweet! Just give me a minute to finish eating. I have to say though, and also another thing that I like that they fixed in Persona 4 is that you can social link with all of your teammates, not like just the girls. <laughs> like granted in Persona 3 Portable, um, if you play as the girl, you can social link all the guys, but when you play as the guy, you social link all the girls, and it's like, come on, I need some like... This is my teammates. It's like my guy friends. I, I need ya, man. Theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. 
day they're showing American action movies. Dude, this is seriously nonstop. It's kind of weird to see a movie with another guy, but I'm getting pumped all the same. Let's go. Oh, don't let me forget the popcorn with extra butter. Love movie popcorn. Don't like extra butter. But if you add like a dash of Parmesan cheese to like, like the powdered Parmesan cheese to popcorn, it's fucking delicious. You learn to fight for justice. Like Batman. Dude, why couldn't I have been born in the USA? By now, I've, I have been all saving the babes, fighting for my country. And everyone would be like, oh, Junpei. Man, why do I have to be born in Japan? Hey, I live in the USA and I want to go to Japan. So, shut up. I would love, that is like my ultimate dream is to visit Japan one day. Hi, how was your day? Hot. What it be? Summer vacation will end, pose a problem, cause I can't, I can't be next to you. It's gonna be a full moon, prepare yourself. Can stay in the summer, leaving, okay. Dude, Ken doesn't feel well. Do it while he can. Fuka, you gotta say the same thing about Ken. Ken, Ken. God damn it, who cares? If he wants to be unhappy, let him be unhappy. He wants to go for a walk. Junpei can go with you. Let's go. What up? Yo, Koromaru, your tail's, tail's gonna fall off if you've been wagging too much. Don't wear yourself out, okay? Man, the movies today were great, huh? Guy watches something like that and he feels like he could take on the world. The coolest part is how the her heroine understands the man do by the end. Even being a superior super badass would suck if no one knew about it. You spoke with Junpei for a while. Hey, there he is. He looks hungry. Hey, wanna go back? Uh, no, stop, Kenji, no, stop blowing up my telephone. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay. Aw. That's the second time. Is this Yuko? Oh, now it's Kazushi. Sorry, I'm busy, dude. Leave my Sundays alone. Oh my god! Yuko! No! You, you all get together, trust me. You'll all get your max social links out, I promise. It's just gonna take a long time. Oh my god, a very long time. Hold on. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. Alrighty, summer vacation. Huh? It's me. Yo! I apologize for the interruption, but do you have a moment? Sure. Just head in. Coming! Good morning. The chairman will be here tonight. Okay. We'll meet on the fourth floor as usual. What? Saying that in a week we're going to face a full moon, boss? Because that's what we've been doing. That's all. Good. Alright. So yeah, so now that Sundays are basically over, uh, the deal with Sundays is when school starts back up, um, basically Sundays are going to be open for Akinari. 
who is uh, our good old striped shirt friend who we found the red fountain pen for. Hey, that rhymed. Alrighty. Yaiyisa! There's a meeting tonight. I will relax until then. Do you have any suggestions on how to relax, Zero san I guess doesn't seem to be busy. Would you like to invite I guess to the film festival? Yeah. The movies? I see. So going out is considered to be relaxing too. Then let us go and relax. I do like I guess better when she actually like develops human emotions and she doesn't have the robotic voice anymore. Then I don't have the voice actor as a robot voice. It is crowded. Today they're showing ninja movies! Ninja War. Does this refer to opposing platoons of ninjas on the screen? According to Junpei-san, ninjas are the coolest of the cool. I can imagine her just saying that. Saw the history of ninjas and learned their mind-bending fighting techniques. I have updated my information on ninjas. Ninja is the ultimate status that a man can achieve. In combat, the power of their body is equivalent that of highly advanced special weapons. They were war machines with unparalleled fighting skill. Given these facts, I am curious as to why their existence has ceased. Was it an ice age? Perhaps the proliferation of the internet? An enigma I may never resolve. Thank you very much for today. I shall call you Zero Ninja from now on. That was a humorous joke. I would love it if she called me Zero Ninja. Zero Ninja! That'd be so much fun. Good. You're all here. Please, come in. Sorry to interrupt. You must be kidding. After running several tests, we've learned that he has more than adequate potential. I called this meeting so that I could introduce him, since he'll be joining our squad. But, but Mr. Chairman, he's still in elementary school. Yeah, you ever think about that? Besides... Besides what? His ability is quite promising. With the proper training, he could be a big help. But he's in fucking elementary school, you dipshit. But is he okay with it? Actually, I asked to join. I believe I can be of some assistance. Now, I finally know why I was given this power. So, as you can see, it was his own decision. Nice to meet you all. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It may be hard at times, but stick with it. Yes, got it. Ah, so now Ken has joined our team. Van fucking tabulous. <sighs> he is very decisive. I believe he would be a great addition to C's. His age worries me, though. He will need to. You will. We will need to keep a close eye on him. <sighs> Yo, I'll be joining. C I'll be joining C's as of today. I promise to do my best. Stretch down on me. I'm very impressed with Ken. He's quite brave for his age. When I was in elementary school, I was a real scaredy cat. I used to cry and run away when a bee would come near me. Good to know. Ken's a pretty amazing kid. Even Akutsuki san thinks so. He's young, but he thinks he's he th he thinks like an adult. Where be everybody else on the other floor?
the spear and Amada-san's weapon of choice. Really? That's unusual. Yeah, it's not as easy to handle as a sword. I wonder why he chose that. Most likely because of his size. A spear evens out the disadvantage he might have against a taller enemy. That makes sense. I'm not surprised Ken Kun thought of that. Why is Junpei acting like that? Oh right, since he's not in any clubs, this is his first chance to be a senpai. Going to battle at his age? Ken's the man! If he sticks with me, I'll show him how it's done. He can call me Junpei Senpai. Stop acting like a little kid. Ken Kun's more mature than you are. Uh, talk. Junpei Kun and Ken Kun look like brothers. They make quite a pair. Junke Junpei Kun is a silly old brother, and Ken Kun is the reliable younger brother. Yeah, Ken Kun asked for a cooler older bro than me. Yeah, okay. Junpei is so on and off for me. Like, there are times where I'm like, oh, yeah, dude. And then he gets pissed at me because it's like I'm better. Because I end up being better than him. And he's like, horror, but pissed. I'm not the hero. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Stop being jealous of me and shut up. Alrighty, so September 1st is going to be the day that we go back to school. That will also be the day to make sure that you take that you take Elizabeth out on her date to Nagi Neki Shrine. It's blowing up my telephone. It's the BB now. Sorry, I'm busy. Uh-oh. Now what? Yo, Kaz, what it be? Sorry, I'm a busy. I'm a busy. Blowing up my telephone. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I just randomly started humming like random things. It doesn't have to be anything. It just happens. Ready? See cutscene. Oh man, this year's going fast. It's already second semester. Next year, I'll be a senior. <laughs> that girl. You again. Um, well, uh, I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Same here. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. So, what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. Oh, yeah? Still, I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? So as more developments happen of bad things. <sighs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Where be it the Fuka? Fuka, you're coming with me. Kenkun joining yesterday was a surprise. I think he wasn't sure how to bring it up. But I'm glad he's looking better now. Fuka seems relieved. Since you have the unicorn, you can get along with Fuka. Yes. You want to go with me? Sure, that sounds fun. I was actually thinking about going because the theme today seems interesting. The 
This will be fun. Port Island Movie Theater. Science fiction. Now we get to see giant robots. I always wondered what they meant by hard science fiction. So the last time I passed by the theater, I asked the ticket clerk. He said it's a science fiction story that could really happen. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not very interested in movies where people travel in time or cast spells. I'd rather see movies that make you think 10 years down the road this could happen. Like the way everything around you gets more and more high tech. That's my favorite kind of sci-fi. Oh, sorry, I got a little carried away. We still haven't seen the movie yet. I hope we get good seats. If you hold me tight. Wow, that was amazing! I wonder if our civilization will ever advance that far. Did you see that iron? It got rid of wrinkles on their clothes in half a second. To get that much heat out of an iron so quickly, you probably have to keep it charged. Though it wouldn't have to be with electricity, it could be with gas. It could be a gas hybrid, or maybe they have a totally new energy source. But how would they power the iron with it? <gasps> Sorry, the movie got me all excited, so I got carried away thinking about it. Let's go see another movie again. I hate it when people are like, I'm sorry for getting over ecstatic about something. You should never be sorry about being over ecstatic about something. If you want to jump up and down and scream that this is this is awesome, then go ahead. Do not say sorry for it. One week rem okay. One week remains until the next full moon will appear. As expected, the loss are increasing in number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Summer vacation will end. Have you finished your homework? It's going to be full moon. I hope you be prepared to be busy again. We shall talk, talk, talk. Akihiko Senpai has been acting strangely lately. He must be having a hard time with Kun Kun fighting in the battles. Akihiko Senpai is very kind, which is difficult to tell from his appearance. He has a heart. Amada-san is small, so he uses his spear with long reach. This enables him to compensate for his small stature and fight bigger enemies. Indeed, a spear is the perfect weapon for Amada-san. Good, good to know. Jumbe's acting weird again. I don't know what's gotten into him, but he should really be concentrating on his homework. Homework, schmo work. Someone needs to look after Ken. Can you do it? I'm your man! Good, I'm counting on you. There be a Junpei! Hey, is there anything I can get involved in? Hey, is there anything I can get involved in? That's for you to discover. Yeah, you're right. I have to discover it on my own. My weapon of choice is a spear. Its high rate, its rate is high, but the amount of damage it does is minimal. I have to attack enemies little by little, so please don't mind if it takes me a long time to defeat them. I don't mind! I want instant death for all of them! It's not like I'm going to use them anyway. I didn't like Ken Coon. Ken Coon. I'm even calling him Ken Coon. Oh, Fuka's coming with us. Awesome. But yeah, it's like, I didn't really, like, even when I used him in my first playthrough of it, I didn't just... Chan seems happy. The movie we saw was fantastic. I'm glad we I went. Thinking about trying my own all night movie marathon now. I'll rent DVDs of all the movies I missed out on and watch them all back to back. It's the kind of thing you can only do on summer vacation. Spoke with Fuka. That is an awesome idea, especially if you get like friends with it. Wow, Korchan's covered in dirt. I should let him I should let him in the bath with me when we get back. Bow, 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 bow. 
What will you do? I will go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh dear, you what up, Pharaohs? Telling you, my week my week alarm clock. One week from now, you will face terrible danger. No oh, shit. Hello. Yo. I thought I'd remind you. The next full moon will be in one week. Thank ya. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Few trials remain. I know. So be careful. I know. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Have fun now. Goodbye. And goodbye. Looky, looky, September 1st. That's when school's gonna start. Back. Summer vacation will be over soon. Let's see. I think the only people that we haven't gone to the movies with is Mitsuru, Ken, and that's it. Mitsuru and Ken. But first, Tanaka. Tanaka. I'm your host, Tanaka. Okay, Veruna. Bra Don't I have those? Goodness, I can't believe it's one of but wait, there's more. Two veggie supplements. Yeah, why not? I'll take, I'll take a shit. Alrighty. Banana, boo, 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 Uh, now that Jen sees, I see you all differently. I'll do my best to see you. Mitsuru! Haven't had a free day in some time, but it's here at last. It's, in a, it's inevitable when one has a month off that there will be at least one day with a clear schedule. Hmm, what should I do? Seems Mitsuru's free. Would you like to invite her? Hmm, the movies? Just remember that I received VIP tickets from a distributor. I think I'll make use of them. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. I can't even, I'm not even gonna try. Yeah. Theater's crowded. Today they're showing classic romances. This will be my first time seeing a straightforward love story. Should be an interesting experience. Shall we enter? You see many kinds of love, as well as how to find love. What was that last one? Eternal love? Isn't it quite a coincidence for the man to find her when he has no idea where she was? And why would he wait until the last moment to announce that he's secretly a prince? Just saying, I wasn't able to tell you, is poor storytelling. It's a crucial piece of information. And that ending, it stopped right when the prince and the woman settled down, but what about after that? If they had shown the real life of royalty, I assure you, it wouldn't be, have been a happy ending. They didn't show the most difficult parts. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so critical of the movie you wanted to see with me. I just couldn't help but compare it to my own life. I suppose I enjoyed it on some level since I was able to relate to the characters so strongly. Yeah. Alrighty, tomorrow tomorrow is the last day for movie Hello. time. What it be, have you noticed? Those people, the loss have been, they've been increasing. I wish there was something I could do. Well, you just stay there. Summer vacation will end. Madison is small. Yukari. Talking about Junpei. Watch Ken. I can do that, man. I'm not going to bother talking to Junpei. What it be, Koromaru? 
Kurma, I was looking at you. He seems he wants to go for a rock, but Siru can go. Let's go. Kurma looks happy when he's here. It must have some something akin to a hometown for him. I said some things earlier today, but now that I've had time to calm down and think about it, today's movie did have its charms. Does it seem out of character for me to say something like that? I spoke quietly with Masuru. No, it's not out of character at all. What, are you satisfied already? Well then, let's go home. Itch. Ringing up my telephone. Ah, Kasuke, would it be? Sorry, I'm busy. I'm busy, 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 busy. Ah, uh, Bibi. Oh, Fuka. Well, sorry, I'm busy too. You know, you could just like come up to my, like, knock on my door and be like, hey, you wanna hang? But I think that would be even more like. That would be harder to say, like, no to. Well, no. Nah, it wouldn't. At least not for me. Because all I have to say is, sorry, I'm busy. Because I am. It's tough for doing social links. And hanging with peeps. Today is the last day of summer. I wish we had a film festival in our area. Like, a really good one. So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Hey, hey, wait. Your hand. I said wait. You're hurt. What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud. Come on, show me your hand. We need to put some pressure on it. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? <laughs> you're weird. Chidori. Uh -huh. That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. <clears throat> There's a cut on your hand! You're bleeding! And you're weird. I do have to say, though, I really like Chidori. Even though she is part of Strega. Actually, to tell you the truth, I really do like the Strega characters. <laughs> I just love to hate them. Alright, so... Ken is the last dude to hang with at the movies. So let's do this. Um, today's the last day of summer vacation, right? Well, since it's the last day... I was wondering if you had any plans. I was just curious, so it's no big deal. Ken seems like he wants to say something. Invite him to the movies. Come on, Ken. If you're thinking like an adult, you gotta talk like an adult. Well, I'm an adult and I talk like a kid most of the time, so... But that's just my speech impediment. <laughs> Theater is crowded because of movies. They're showing superheroes! Batman! The, mon the monster, the poster is from, uh, I don't know, um, Amoeb Amoeba Man, Amoeba Man! Err, I wasn't really looking forward to this, you understand? Oh, dude, come on! The second I saw a Batman poster, I flippin' freaked out. So, if you want to see Amoeba Man, let's go see Amoeba Man. Though Batman's better. I was just bored and thought I would pass the time. Oh no, it's starting! Quick, we gotta get seats! 
Are you kidding me? If it was Batman, I would like grab him by the shirt. I would just pick him up over my shoulder and run into the theater. That, that was so cool! Oh, did you see the part where Amoeba Man gets captured? And then the part where he was in the underground prison, but more signal came to help? And then they had him tied up, and the bad guys were about to shoot him, and then the whole team... Ahem, ahem. Anyway, I thought some of the scenes were pretty good. But it's all just fake. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me along. Say, you just go crazy, man! Use a kid, go crazy! Welcome back. What it be, so the moon will be full again. I think it goes without saying that, but please make sure you're prepared. What it be, Ken? Oh, that's right, I haven't told you about my persona yet, have I? Well, it has powerful light abilities. Which means it's weak against darkness skills like Mudo. So instant kill for you if a monster uses Mudo. He's acting strangely. You say homework. God. Mata sounds small. I know. Junpei. Oh, Junpei seems surprised. He probably gave up on finishing his homework. Dory, huh? She's definitely a weirdo. Well, good thing you like that. Good thing you like weirdos. I like weirdos too. Someone needs to look after Ken. Yes, I'll be your man. God damn it. All right. You want to go anywhere? Nope. Awesome. Alrighty. So today is the last day of summer, which means tomorrow we start back up school. So. Yay!